Okay, this is a screencast to review how to burn a disc to the iRibbit DVD recorder. Uh, the first thing you need to do is download the Swift Disc if you don't if it didn't come with your system, or you might want to uh, download the most recent version. I found one here on Tom's Guide. So you're going to do a search for Swift Disc download. Uh, make sure you're downloading it from a reputable site, of course. Once that's done, you're going to open, you're going to put in the uh, DVD you want to copy into your main machine and uh, make sure it's, this is a copyright free, a non copy protected DVD, so I don't have that issue. That's a whole other screencast. So then we're going to open Swift Disk. Publisher standard. When it pops up, you'll get this intimidating screen. Um, we did enter a key, but it didn't seem to get us anywhere. If you just hit the continue button, it it will move you forward. Okay, this is the main screen of the Swift Disk. Um, we are making DVDs from videos, so we have two options really. We can either copy directly from our original DVD, or we can uh, burn a disc from our video project, and we're going to do both. So right now I have a disc in my laptop, so I'm going to use the copy project. And what the first step is to create an image, and when you create the image, like I said, you want to make sure your DVD's in your main computer drive. So that would be the one that's not listed as iRipIt. So that's our source. And then the output folder, I just created a one on my desktop. iRipIt folder. And then you can make a new folder. Hit OK. And as soon as I hit finish, it's going to go ahead and uh, start burning that to the disk, to the hard drive, creating disk image. I canceled this particular one, as you don't need to, I've already burned my images. Uh, after it burns, you'll see a, a all green um, check marks there, and you can hit the continue. And then the next step after burning your image is to start a new project. And then now you're going to, now you, that you've already created the image, now you're going to burn the image. This time we're going to burn it to the iRipIt and hit next. You want to make sure your device is plugged in and turned on at this point, before, prior to this point. So now we're going to search for the image file we just created. It should automatically come up, the last one that you just created. Um, I have one up here, but just confirm that it's in the right folder, that you're burning the right one one, hit open, and it's an SDI file is what you're looking for. It won't burn any other type of file. Now here's where you can set the number of copies. You can enter a number or you can use these little arrow keys. And once you're ready to go, you're just going to hit finish and it should start right up. So the other option, I'm not going to save that, is to burn directly from your uh, video file, so you'd hit video project and to create the video TS folder you'd have to use another program but if you've already done that you're going to hit the burn video TS folder and this is going to burn directly to the iRipIt so it's already defaulted to that then we're going to select our TS file and it must be that kind of file and I have some on here. Uh, not those projects. I'm trying to show you the TS file. So there it is. Anthony Video TS. You want to just select the video TS file. That's 
so I don't usually get that. And then we hit next. And then you would title your disk here. Next. And here's where you set the number of copies. Um, and then go ahead and hit finish. And it should start immediately if it worked. Good luck.